वेलकम टू ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर आशा कदम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी दादा पाटिल महाविद्यालय कर्जत टुडे वी लर्न अबाउट दी प्लांट ऑर्गनेल और वी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज दी प्लांट सेल कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट दैट इज दी प्लास्टिड सो इन दी प्लास्टिड वी लर्न अबाउट दी मॉफोलॉजी ऑफ प्लास्टिड then ultra structure of plastid chemical composition of plastid and different functions of plastid with respect to their different types so we know that plastid is nothing but a membrane bound organelle plastid is the membrane bound organelle that is found in the cells of plants algae and also some eukaryotic organisms plastid is the membrane bound organelle which are present in the plant animal uh, algae and some other eukaryotic organisms these plastids were discovered and named by ernst hacke and the swimper ernst Hackel only discover the plastid but Swimper was first to provide a clear definition of plastid plastids are the site of manufacture of storage of important chemical compounds which are used in the cells of autotrophic eukaryotes we know that autotrophs means those plants which prepare their own food material that we call as the autotroph so plastids are nothing but the site of manufacture and storage of different chemical compounds which are used for the process of autotrophic eukaryotes that is the process of photosynthesis means photosynthesis is the process through which plants prepare their own food material so they prepare their own food material and that's why they called as the autotrophs they often contain the different pigments which are used in the photosynthesis and the different types of the pigment in a plastid they determine the color of the cell for example if in the cells there are the green pigment are present that sign there will be the green color the cells appears the green color so the plastid determine the color of the cell they have a common evolutionary origin and possesses the double stranded dna molecule which is circular but we know that in the mitochondria also there is the double stranded dna molecule which are circular in structure means plastids and the mitochondria they having their own uh, origin of history same both are common the evolutionary common evolutionary origin they possess the double stranded dna molecule which are the circular like that of the prokaryotic cells also plastids are the site of manufacture and storage of different chemical compounds which are used by the cell so these are the different types of the plastids these schematic diagram showing the different types of the plastids that is the chromoplast chloroplast leucoplast amyloplast ileoplast antiproteinoplast these are the major types of the plastids on the basis of which pigment is present or whether the pigments are absent they having their different types for example if we take the example of chromoplast in the chromoplast there is the color pigment are present 
Here in these cells, there are different color pigment are present. So, chromoplast is the used for pigment synthesis and storage. Then, chloroplast. In the chloroplast, there is the green pigment. Green granule like structures are present that we call as the chlorophyll. And so, in the chloroplast, chlorophyll pigment is the dominant. These chloroplasts play an important role in the process of photosynthesis and the lipid synthesis. So, chloroplast is responsible for the synthesis of the photosynthesis and the lipid. Next type of the plastid is leucoplast. Here in the cells, there are no any color means this cell is the colorless so due to absence of pigment means here color pigment is absent leucoplasts are always pigment free they play an important role in the synthesis of fatty acids and the amino acids Aminoplast, ileoplast, and proteinoplast. These are the subtypes of the leucoplast on the basis of without pigment. If we classify the uh, on the basis of whether the pigment is present or the absent, that time there are the two category. In first category, the plastids which have the different pigments, and the second category that is in the plastids they are the pigment free and so these leucoplast, amyloplast, ileoplast and the proteinoplast they are included in the second category of the plastid that is the pigment free so amyloplast, ileoplast and the proteinoplast these are the pigment free they play an important role in the Amyloplast play important role in the storage of starch and the sugar molecules. Ileoplast play important role in the storage of lipids and the oil content. And proteinoplast is also play an important role in the search of enzyme activity or the protein activity. So these are the different types of the plastids which are the chromoplast. Chloroplast, leucoplast, amyloplast, ileoplast, and the proteinoplast. So, but commonly there are the plastids which we learn in the plant sciences that is the chromoplast, pioplast, rhodoplast, leucoplast, and the chloroplast. So, first we learn about the chromoplast. Chromoplast are the plastids which are heterogeneous organisms and responsible for the pigment synthesis and storage in photosynthetic eukaryote. These chromoplasts are the colors due to presence of different colorful pigments. They also produce the color and store inside the cell itself and that's why their appearance is very colorful. Means in the chloroplast there is the colored pigment are present. They produce the color, color pigment and also store inside the cells and that's why these chromoplasts are colorful. So, these chromoplasts are found in the fruits, flowers, roots and senescent leaves. The color of this plant organ is always associated with the presence of the pigment. Means, which pigment is present on which part? They are showing the color appearance. For example, roots. If we take the part of the plant that is the root, almost the roots are the colorless. Means in the roots, there are the leucoplasts are present. They are pigment free. But when we take the example of the shoot of the embryo or the end part, leaf, 
that time they are colorful due to presence of the pigment so here in the chromoplast there are the different pigments are prepared and stored in the cells and that's why they are colorful apart from the chlorophyll all the colors are here appear but chlorophyll pigment that are rarely and they are not dominant in the chromoplast and that's why this chlorophyll pigment is majorly in included in the chloroplast when we learn the structure of chromoplast chromoplast vary in structural appearance under the electron microscope when we observe these chromoplast under the electron microscope then they are having the different groups like the globular crystalline fibrillar tubular and the membranous means chromoplast generally grouped into the five types that is the globular crystalline fibrillar tubular and the membranous some chromoplast may be harder to classify where their structure is rather complicated for example in the tomato if we take example of tomato tomato appear the both the membranous and the crystalline appearance and that's why there is the hard to study or hard to identify which type of the chromoplast is there so some structures are rather complicated like the tomatoes then functions of chromoplast we know that chromoplast are found in the fruits flowers root and also the stressed and the aging leaves which are responsible for the distinctive color means these fruit flowers roots stressed and aging leaves they are responsible for their distinct colors they always associated with the massive increase in the accumulation of a different carotenoid pigments so the conversion of these chloroplast into the chromoplast is the in ripening of the fruit in the ripening of the fruit there is always conversion of chlorophyll pigment into the chromophyll uh, means colored pigment means here the chloroplast is converted into the chromoplast they are generally found in the mature tissues and are derived from the pre existing mature plastids these are synthesized and also store the pigment such as the orange carotene yellow xanthophyll pigment and other various red pigment too the main evolutionary purpose of these chromoplast is probably to attract to attract the pollinator or the eaters of colorful fruits and we know that if they pollinate pollinators are attracted to these fruits ultimately there is the dispersion of a seeds and that's why this chromoplast also play an important role in the dispersion of a seeds however these are also found in the roots such as the carrot and the sweet potato we know that the root that is the carrot and the sweet sweet potatoes that are colorful and here in these roots there is the color pigment and these color pigment are present in the chromoplast and so chromoplast also found in the root of the carrot and the sweet potato they allow the accumulation of large quantities of water in soluble compounds in other words the watery parts of the plants so here the examples of the chromoplast look in this diagram or the picture the tomato 
when we observe the plastids of the tomato under the electron microscope that time they are the complicated structure of the chromoplast because of presence of a membranous chromoplast also and the crystalline chromoplast also and that's why the structure of these chromoplast is a complicated then next picture is the chromoplast of the flower that is the almonda almonda flower when we take this section and observe under the electron microscope that time here there are different colorful pigments are present when we take the example of conversion of chloroplast into the chromoplast that time here in this diagram this is the unripe capsicum which having the green color the appearance of this capsicum is a green because of presence of a chlorophyll pigment but when this capsicum this capsicum ripe after the ripening the color of this capsicum is the red because of here the conversion of chloroplast into the chromoplast means this green capsicum becomes the colorful due to conversion of a chloroplast into the chromoplast here these are the chloroplast green these unripe capsicum chloroplast here looking like this manner and here when we observe the chromoplast in the ripening capsicum they observe like this manner means here the chloro in the chloroplast the chlorophyll pigment or the green appearance is there and here the colored full appearance is there in the chromoplast so next type of the plastid is the phyoplast we know that phyophyta phyophyta is the algal group or we say that the algal class in the algae phyophyta commonly called as the brown alga because of in these algae there are the dominant pigment is present that is the brown pigment which we call as the phycoxanthin that pigment we call as the phycoxanthin so here the plastid is the phyoplast which are yellow or the brown plastids found in the brown alga diatoms and the dinoflagellates here the common pigment or the dominant pigment is the phycoxanthin which is a carotenoid pigment which masks the color of chlorophyll a it absorb the light and transfer the energy to chlorophyll a here this in this picture they are showing the brown alga which appears the color brown due to presence of a few plast here these are the dark atoms and here dinoflagellate all the in all these examples we show that the appearance is a yellow or brownish color due to presence of a dominant pigment that is the phycoxanthin then rhodophlast again we know that rhodophyta common name is the red alga in the red alga there is the dominant pigment is the red which we call as the phycoerythrin so rhodophlast are the red color plastids which found in the red algae its red color is due to presence of a pigment that is the phycoerythrin means red pigment is the phycoerythrin and it also absorb the light so this is the example of a red alga which having a red appearance due to presence of a pigment that is the phycoxanthin so today we learn about the plastids types that is the 
क्रोमोप्लास्ट विच हाफ इन दी कलर पिगमेंट्स 